Hello students. Good morning and welcome to this new class. And I am sure you are following up the lessons that we are studying about the wildlife and the natural vegetation. How they are getting depleted due to various policies of the government and due to human activities and so on. So we also blame the British rule for the depletion of the forest. Let's see whether how far it can be true or how far the colonial policies can be blamed for the destruction of the forest for the depletion of the forest land and so on. You can take your textbook page number 16. So some of our environmental activists say that promotion of a few favored species in many parts of India has been carried through the ironically termed enrichment plantation. So <clears throat> in many parts of India we were having a type of cultivation called enrichment plantation. That means we are planting only one type of plants, all the rest will be eliminated. So that was that was one of the reasons why the depletion of the forest. So mainly for commercial purpose, the wood that has got more demand for making furniture and so on. So such kind of trees were encouraged, plantation of such trees. And all the other unimportant trees they were just cut off so that is one reason why the forest uh, forest area are deplete, depleted then for example teak monoculture has damaged the natural forest in south india so in south india most of the people were planting teak the monoculture, only teak. Everybody was planting teak because teak was in high demand for making furniture and so on. So all the other trees were cut down and everyone was planting teak. So that just affected the forest there. Then some other people, they were planting another tree called chirp pine. Chirp pine. It was planted by Himalayan areas, the Himalayan mountains. The chip pine was planted. So there was another tree that was growing on Himalayan yoke, and that trees were all cut down, and only this pine tree was being planted. So that way it affected the natural vegetation. So we can say it is not the colonial forest policies alone, but human activities uh, which was leading with a profit motivation that also made the forest area to be depleted especially the mono plantation culture we want plant only one tree that is more useful for us all the other ones are unimportant and we will eliminate them that was going on so that was really affecting the natural vegetation of our country then large scale development projects have also contributed significantly to the loss of forests. Another reason why we have lost the forest is we have uh, done a lot of developmental activities. So this large scale development activity, for example making factories, making roads, making railways, so all these are large scale developments and for that we have to cut the land and mostly it is going through forests and a lot of forests were destroyed. So one side there is development, another side there is destruction. Then in from 1951 onwards, over 5000 square kilometers of forest was cleared for river valley projects. So from the year 1951 onwards, if you look, we can see more than 5,000 square kilometers of forest have been cleared 
for a project called River Valley Project. In order to make that River Valley Project to create dam and so on, lot of trees, not a few areas, but 5,000 square kilometers. Such a large area forests were cleared. So that is one reason. Because of bringing these developmental projects, we do lot of uh, lot of destruction of the forests. Then clearing of forests is still continuing with the projects like Narmada Sagar project in Madhya Pradesh, which would inundate 40,000 hectares of forest. So another project government wants to do. What is the name of that project? It is Narmada Sagar project. So it is a dam that is being built across Narmada river. And if this project is completed, if this dam is completed, then what will happen? 40,000 hectares of forest land will be inundated. Inundated means it will be under the water. So, such an area, almost our forest lands are less. And again, if you make this dam, then 40,000 hectare forest land is going to be lost again in order to uh, complete this project that will, uh, we have to sacrifice so much of forest land. Then, min mining is another important factor behind deforestation. So, another thing why we lose our forest land is when we do mining so for mining we have to dig such a large area and if it is in the forest area then all those trees will be cut down then another thing is the buksa tiger reserve in west bengal is seriously threatened by the ongoing dolomit mining so we said mining is threatening the forest and one example for this serious problem caused by mining is in West Bengal. There is a tiger reserve forest is they call the Buxa Tiger Reserve in West Bengal. So there is also mining is going on. Mining of dolomite. The mineral is called dolomite. They want to mine out. And for that they are clearing the forest and the animals there are going to lose their habitat and the trees will be cut down all that things are going on there then it has disturbed the natural habitat of many species and blocked the migration route of several others including the great indian elephant so since they are doing this mining in this reserve forest land it has affected the habitat of many animals in that forest because of lot of disturbance, lot of machines will be there, lot of digging will be there, lot of trees will be cut down. So animals' life is completely disturbed. And even animals like Indian elephant used to pass through that way. They used to migrate from one place to another place. Now it is on this way or the passing way of this elephant that this mining is taking place. And therefore, even this migration of the Indian elephant that has been affected. So, just because of this development or dolomite has to be mined out, a lot of animals are disturbed and the trees are cut down, therefore they will lose their habitat. And then without habitat, we do not know how long these animals will survive. Some of them, they may die soon and slowly, slowly it will affect the uh, wildlife as well. So that is another problem why the forest have been uh, getting uh, depleted. Then many forests and environmentalists hold. So many people say that the greatest degrading factor behind the depletion of the forest resources are grazing and food collection. So again, there is an accusation by the environmentalists, the people who work for the better environment. They say the main reason why the forest land is getting depleted or becoming less and less, it is because of fuel wood collection. Fuel wood means firewood. People go and 
cut the trees from the forest for their firewood and that is another reason why the forest land is becoming less and less let's see that is an accusation let's see how far it is true so though there may be some substance in their argument so we can say there are some cases and you know in this area we use lot of firewood especially in the winter to warm up the house and so on. so there is some substance that the forest land becomes less because of cutting down of trees for firewood but that alone is not the reason why the forest land is becoming less what is the other reason we can say the fact remains that a substantial part of the fuel fodder demand is met by lopping rather than felling entire trees so we can say most of the people or quite a, many of the people collect their firewood not by cutting down the trees but by by lopping lopping means cutting down the branches so they don't cut down the complete tree or full tree they cut down only the branches of the tree the main tree remains there and therefore the environmentalists what they say that because of people cutting the trees for firewood that is the reason the trees or the forest is becoming less so we cannot completely agree with them because most of the people don't cut down the complete trees they cut down only the half of the tree so therefore we can say that is not the main reason why forest lands have been becoming less and less so the forest ecosystems are repositories of some of the country's most valuable forest products so we can say the forest ecosystem the ecosystem that is in the forest ecosystem means the animals the plants the birds all that they live together so that ecosystem that unity of all these elements that is a repository repository means a storage house so this forest is a storage house of what of many valuable forest products so we get so many valuable forest products from the forest let's see what are they so minerals and other products and other resources that meet the demands of the rapidly expanding industrial urban economy so the uh, development is going on especially in the urban areas so we can say they need lot of minerals in order to uh, produce something new in the factory if they want to produce something they need input and most of this input is coming from forest the form of minerals the form of wood and so on so all these are very important for sustaining the development of the nation so if this forest is not there then the main source of supply will be lost and the development also will be lost or reduced then these protected areas does mean different things to different people and therein lies the further fertile ground for conflicts so this forest it is meant for we said it is a storehouse so many minerals and other fruits medicines wood firewood grass so many things are there so it is a storehouse for many people especially people who are working in the industries and we can say this forest means to different people different things people who are living near the forest like for them forest is their livelihood they go they collect food fruits nuts and dry sticks for firewood or that they don't cut down the tree they don't destroy but they completely depend on the forest for their livelihood they have no great ambition to cut down all the trees and make furnitures but they only just collect dry wood they collect fruits from the trees from the jungle trees all that so for them the trees are their forests are their livelihood then for industrial people as we said they are looking into the forest to see any minerals are there or not 
People who want to do furniture business, they look into the trees and see beautiful strong trees. So they want to cut down and make for make furniture. So for different people, different things. So if you say that it is because of the colonial policies that forests have been destroyed, that is not entirely true. We already saw so many policies were done. What is that? We said monotree culture. That means we are encouraging planting of only one type of trees. All the other type of trees were eliminated. For example, in the south, people were planting teak trees and all other trees were removed. Or in the Himalayan mountain areas, we were planting pine trees and the other natural trees that were growing there like Himalayan yoke, they were all destroyed. So that was a big uh, problem. Then we say people have been uh, clearing the forest, firstly to do the big, big project works for making dams, lot of trees were cut down or lot of trees will be under the water, it will be lost and lot of areas were cleared for uh, different projects like dam projects, uh, road project, uh, railway project, factory project and so on. So lot of things were done and in that process we had to sacrifice lot of forest lands as well. So we can say completely it is not there, the colonial factors uh, uh, who were responsible for the destruction of the forest but the Indian government also followed the policies that, uh, that uh, made the elimination of the forest. So we can also not blame the people for cutting trees for firewood because most of the people don't cut the entire tree for the firewood purpose but only the branches that they cut the rest of the tree remains there therefore that is also not the uh, entire thing that is responsible for the destruction of the forest and so on then let us come to know about a Himalayan yew in trouble Himalayan yew that is a plant that is a tree so what happens to this tree? Why it is in trouble? That is what we shall see now. So the Himalayan yew is a medicinal plant found in various parts of Himachal Pradesh and Arunachal Pradesh. So this is a medicinal tree and that is found in two states mainly Arunachal Pradesh and Himachal Pradesh. And a chemical compound called taxol is extracted from the bark, needles, twigs and roots of this tree. So this tree has got a very special chemical chemical composer. It is called taxol. So that is a medicinal thing and that is extracted. That is taken out from this tree. From which part of the tree it is taken out? It is taken out from the bark, the skin of the tree or the needles that is the leaves are like needles from the from the leaves it is taken out or it is also taken out from the twigs from the uh, small branches and also from the roots of the tree so people take out this uh, medicine a chemical medicine from the tree from different parts of this tree so as a result what happens it has been successfully used to treat some cancers. The drug is now the biggest selling anti-cancer drug in the world. So this medicine called Taxol that is taken out from this Himalayan dew that is very good medicine for treatment of the cancer. So this medicine is in high demand. It is used all over the world for treatment of cancer. So this trees are not found in other parts of the world but it is found only in Himachal Pradesh and Arunachal Pradesh. Therefore, there is a high demand for this tree. Then, the species is under great threat due to over exploitation. So since in the world so many people are suffering from cancer and therefore there is a lot of demand for medicine and people are extracting this 
chemical compound from this tree for selling and making medicine and to they will get money and in the last one decade thousands of yew trees have dried up in various parts of himachal pradesh and arunachal pradesh so if you go on taking out this chemical from the tree what happens the tree is dying up it dries up so it is because of over exploitation so during the last one decade or something we can say during the one decade decade means 10 last 10 years thousands of trees this Himalayan view has been dried up because of people taking out the, the chemicals from inside the bark inside the branches and so on afterwards the tree is drying up so they are not caring about the existence of this tree they are only just looking for momentary benefit they won't just get benefit from by selling this and make money but they are not concerned about what will happen to this tree afterwards whether this tree can survive or not whether uh, if it is going on at this rate after a few years there will be no more yew tree and there will be no more medicine for cancer so what will happen then all those things uh, thinking is not entering into their head they are only just looking for monetary benefit for the present time and they are completely forgetting about the future so that is a wrong attitude so medicine is good for treatment of the cancer but at the same time we should be aware that each time when we take out this chemical from the tree the tree will dry up so we should make sure that we plant more trees so otherwise after a few years these trees will be no more found and who will, who will be the loser people also the sick people will be the great loser so we need to make sure that these things are uh, used for future as well so we should not just uh, think and act like illiterate people or ignorant people but we must act like a clever people and we must always preserve what has been given to us by the nature and that should be kept for future use as well so we have to make sure that these things are not just used for once but it is used for for long time and many people are able to use it then only the real purpose of these natural resources will be met so we shall wind up for today and in the next class we will continue about how or what happens to this forest land in india and who is really responsible for the destruction and so on so thank you for listening have a nice day bye